I quite enjoy how I say, hey, I don't want to remove comments because, you know, I want to keep the social aspect, and in response, I receive comments that say, hey, you should just remove the comments. Sometimes, you people. Anyways, hey there, everyone, this is Scott Calvillain from TSRP2. Uh, let's play this. <laughs> Uh, last time, the yellow switch area, and I was told that it is indeed, like, remember that it is, well, yeah, it is pretty much a real level. It's an area, after all, it's not just a palace, to somehow the palace must coexist with reality. Which is a big series of weird, like, oddly, like, odd, like, big old squares in the ground place, because I haven't placed. This seems kind of dangerous, so I will run them. Hey there, Sniffit, what the hell are you doing here? You here are is and are with the wrong game there, guy. Anyways, looks like there's an upper route and a, and a non-upper route. But I've decided to take the, the middle, upper, under, whooper route. And now we are in a place! It's quite crazy! There's power-ups and even water in case you had to wash off all the sweat you are accumulating fighting the forces of evil which are all turtles for some reason wow this is actually a rather generous area I can have all the power-ups that I can imagine fortunately I can only imagine two suddenly we are swimming <laughs> that's kind of unexpected but okay I will coexist with that if we're underwater though I think I'm going to prefer dealing with fire using fire you know this expression comes from burning the dead bushes and whatnot near near uh, places which would may be set on fire like you know most of California in the summer and all that so, uh, we're on the water, and there's an amazing- You can make coins all go jalopy joe like this! This is the true meaning of life, after all. And also, destroying plant life that wishes to destroy you. Mutual destruction is, of course, the true valor of existence. So says the animal kingdom, after all. So that- it's a coin and I will abandon it there so they may be found by adventurers playing this game in another game. I don't know how that works, but there you go. I can access this little cat cage, you know, with 12 coins exactly. That was totally worth the reward of still being big there, though, though this is not one of those stages that... Yeah, this is pretty easy as long as you got your power up and as soon as you lose it, like, or like assuming you're just big, it suddenly becomes like five times hard. It's uh Mario games are strange in that they reward you basically for being good and they punish you for being bad. But this is the yellow switch here. This is the yellow Mario itself. You can tell because there's P switches embedded in the creation in the wall. Hey there, Koopa. I didn't slightly see you there, so you slightly collided with me. That is pretty great. Oh no, I will have to re-get my power up there, but... I need to confront the evilness of the just jump. What are you, Mr. Diagonal Mine Man? How's it going? Oh, come on. I'm, okay, I'm going to go ahead and stomp on you, Mr. Turtle. Because I want to jump from about here. Yeah, I don't want to jump too high because I don't want to collide my head on the plants over there. I know that doesn't sound like a good thing to do. So, you know, that was because I knew that I would lose my power up right then and there. And I wanted to keep the cape over the fireball, of course. I mean, everyone who's anyone is aware of that. I'm kind of afraid of those little spiky, spiky, twirly, sinus, wavy mines. So that's why I'm kind of hurrying up on all yo here. I don't know which side this is a bonus side. Well, as if you understand this nine coins as a bonus. I suppose this is a bonus side, but otherwise I don't know how you'd come find that. Hey there, sideways maverick thwomp man, how's it going today? You got a big old smile? And that's actually a very rare combination, you know? The the, the, the plant mans of the world, you know, they give you the, the plant barrier that I always want to call the petal barrier. Because that's how it looks like. See, suddenly now I'm small, so we can evaluate the differences in gameplays in the situation where I can't really use my the abilities of my power-ups regardless. So this is Spike Volley, guys. Pretty scary. Pretty scary. And also, I will add uh, that they fill me with a certain amount of what I would call dread. Uh, also of Mason the Face. But, you know... 
That's just par for the course. Boop. Okay, so yeah, you kind of want to jump to get ahead of the game there. But man, this is this is a dangerous situation. Uh, uh, yeah, thwomp! <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Guarding the door, I see. Is this is the proudest part of the switch. I don't know. I guess we're going up the stairs. Then I get a power ups I wasted one. Then you can press the button if you feel like it, because progress was all that we saved. Uh, that's that's the greatest, most important part of the Switch Palace. It's a guaranteed save ahoy. That's the most delicious brand of cookie there is. Wow, I can't believe I went through an entire level without dying once. I got hit a few times, but I didn't die once. So we're ready to move on with the game. Yeah, I guess we're going over here to uh, Neo Aquaria. It's the new water. It's pretty great. It's more Sonic the Hedgehog uh, as we explore the Labyrinth Zone. There's pipe and it's great. It's kind of super out of place. It's pretty great. Um, the clash of like graphics of other games sometimes gives this game a certain collab-ish appeal visually that I don't dislike. So I don't know if you're... Oh yeah, you can just kind of force your way through these buckets. They're very not good as buckets though because they're quite solid and, and made of rock. Well, I suppose you could have a bucket made of rock that works very well. No, but it's just that it have to be concave, so probably like sculpted somehow. Oh man, I had a, a, a rapport there. Oh no, I gotta wait after the tie, that's pretty great. So yeah, this is a tie level, and you're in a place, and there is a tie that goes up and down. The moon around this area spins around the earth very fast. It's, it's pretty frightening, not gonna lie. Wait, am I even supposed to go here? I guess not. Whoa! Plunging through the head of my enemies! That's pretty uh, morbid there. Okay, so uh, there's spikes here. So you gotta be careful. There's spikes. So yeah, the other place where we saw like the Ganon head spout fire, well that's the way you take if you take the other way. That's a mole. That's the way you take if you want to go that way. So, uh, I'll watch out because there's a spinny thing, and it's spinning really, really fast. There's still a Ganon head there, and he's like, all like, Look at me! I'm popular! And, uh, that's just not something we shall tolerate. That sort of attitude leads to bruises and nooses, and, you know, it's something we want to avoid. They're actually just Bowser statue, but, you know, Nintendo enemies, when they go into foreign lands, they like to make statues of themselves so the tourists will remember them. No, instead of buying a, 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 a souvenir from the tourists, they leave a tourist to the souvenirs, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because that's not exactly what I meant to say. That's beside the point. So this is the underwater area. You can tell because there's this dude over there and it's not affected by buoyancy. There's a spike over there and it's not affected by the Academy too much. So, you know, he won't he won't be giving any thanks at the Oscar, that's for sure. So, uh, gotta watch out because when you, you bust a move like that, ee, there's water physics and currents. Uh, but uh, that's what's kind of beside the point, because you no, know, that just kind of came in the wind, and then it went and came, and then it, there's a guy there, Spoon Fireball. It's pretty great. It's pretty hardcore about it, too. So here you can go like, hello there, and then you can get a Fireball in the head. No, and that's pretty great, because that reminds you, you know, that you got a Fireball in the head, although it reminds you of the present. So this is more uh, crazy than all, and then I guess I was supposed to swim here. It's, it's kind of, actually, kind of ridiculous, but just a little bit. Although, uh, because of the ridiculousness, I've lost my power up. I am now a fragile little angel that can go get the dragon coin up here. Oh, I got a dragon coin! I am the most popular fish in the sea. It's not a big sea, but you know it's filled with a castle, but that's okay. It's a castle sea. It's a sea castle. I don't know which one is best. Hey there, God. How's it going? No! How did I die that way of all places, things? Oh.
I manage to not die at that exact moment, but that's okay. Hey there, Mr. Red Guy. This time, I'm not taking a chance, and I'm actually leaving you alive at the same time. So, uh, hey there, piggy head. I'm going to jump on you, and then I'm going to jump beside you, and then I'm going to jump around you, and then I'm going to slam dunk a do. Doodly do. I do believe, like, after remembering this level, I don't think there's a secret. I don't think so. There might be, but I don't know. The Mario palette there on... On, on the Mario, on the palette, it's a Mario palette. We can go here though, the Temple of Doom! Do I have time? We're gonna make time! If that